Well, it's still really windy, but it's finally warmed up a little. Enough that I'm gonna put some work clothes on, and I'm gonna go see about the PVC pipe over there. My goal is to get it open that way if for whatever reason there's some little surprise storm or shower that blows through. Well, this says there's not going to be, but in case, does that make sense? It's working and doesn't erode my, my road. So that's what I'm going to start with. And then we'll just go from there. If I get that done, then I'll look at edging a path back to the, the hoop tunnel. You know, finish that off. You know, just kind of go from there. So... Talk to you in a few. All right, there's my clogged culvert. Um, you can kind of see where the, the water jumped the berm and came out this way. You know, went down to that side of the road. I almost how you gutted that side of the road. Um, it cleared itself. I mean, there's no leaves here. You can see there's a big old gap in space where there's no leaves here. It, it cleared, but I need it to go back through the culvert or the six inch PVC pipe that's here, you know, and not down my road. All right, well, let me get to work. I brought my rake, my big shovel, and my little shovel because basically I just need to dig it out. I need to figure out if it has fully collapsed, at which point in time it becomes a priority for me to get a true culvert in here. Or if it just got buried. You know, and if it just got buried, clean it out. And uh, go from there. Oh, goodness. You okay? Heard you hacking up a hairball, that piece of squirrel? All right, me and Panda are going to get busy. You know, I dig, she has to dig, so we'll talk to y'all in a few. All right, good news and even better news. The pipe did not collapse. Yay! Now, it is still cracked. It's all right. Um, what had happened is several large rocks had washed down. That one over there top of the screen is one of them. I don't know if you can see it right there, that dirty piece. Yeah, that was one of them, but there were several of them that had come down and actually collapsed the screen. Um, and as the screen collapsed in around the pipe, the leaves that were sticking to it um, pretty much created the clog. Um, so I did a couple of things. If you look, there are now three pieces of rebar, one at the very front, and then one to the left, one to the right, um, to prevent the screen from collapsing. Um, hopefully that works. I have no idea if it's going to. Um, again, I'm not gonna put a permanent fix here until I find somebody who will replace the PVC pipe with a true culvert. Um, you know, when I first moved in, because I knew this was an issue, I got a guy, he quoted me like 4,000, and it was to replace this one to replace the one over there, and we'll talk about that one in a second, and then to muck out the other two down where my little water crossings are. Um, and after about seven months of trying to call him every other week, I just kind of gave up on him. Um, at which point in time, other things became number one on the list of stuff to do, and here we are spring, and I'm pitching a fit because my culverts are clogged, and they're not fixed. And that would be my fault for not riding this guy's ass or just finding somebody else, you know, to do the job because this is just I'm gonna say this is beyond my scope of work um, while sure I could bring the backhoe up here and I could dig this trench out I mean I know where the the pipe comes in and I know where it comes out on the other side and I could dig it up with the the, the backhoe and I could lay a culvert in here but I've got no way to get a culvert home you know it, it's just it's a mess just a mess anyway so this is fixed for now this will work for the next couple of rainstorms, guaranteed. It worked all year last year when I put it in. And, um, whew, the, uh, just have to, again, make sure it stays clean. And, uh, look for more than just leaves. I gotta make sure that it doesn't collapse. All right, having said that, we're gonna walk over to this other culvert here real quick. While we're filming. And then I'm gonna go probably take a walk and look at my other two culverts just to make sure that I didn't have any big rocks come down on them. When I cleaned, because when I cleaned the leaves out, it was raining. I still had water going on. Oh, it's a lizard! Get it, Panda! It's a lizard! I've got to them kill the lizards. It could have got me. She saved my life. All right, so I did not film this one. This is my one with the holes in it. Um, I knew the holes were here. That's why I keep the wood stacked here, so I know not to drive over here, so I don't collapse a, a Jeep tire in it. Um, but it still processes water. It still moves water. 
I'm assuming at some time during the fall I had a bunch of leaves fall here literally at the holes because this is where it had clogged um, and it was clogged with leaves from the holes to the opening and then on into the thing and that's why it drained up and over the side that way towards where Panda is and she caught the lizard. Alrighty, so um, cleaned it that day. We had that rainstorm after that um, and any leaves that were inside the culvert had actually um, started to plug up over here. So I've dug them out. That's what all of those leaves are over there, all the wet stuff. Pull all that out of the culvert. And you can see now with the puddle of water there, it's starting to drain again. And again, my mountain will weep for a week. We had a good four days worth of rain. I'm going to have runoff for a week. It's going to happen. It's part of living on the mountain. Um, but now it's going through the culvert. There it is, going through the culvert like it's supposed to. And it'll stop going, acro going across my road. So things to think about. Um, I need to cover this with something. The holes. If I'm not going to replace it today, and I'm not, um, I need to cover it with something so leaf fall stops falling into the culverts. Does that make sense? And, and creating a blockage here that it needs to come that way. You know? Um, might just put a board and then restack my pieces of wood. That way it'll hold the board down. The board will keep debris from falling in it. And Again, it's just a temporary fix. I don't want to do something permanent because I know I need to replace the culvert. So, just my thought processes. Having said that, I am going to go back up the hill and check my other two culverts. Um, I raked them out. They were both doing well as far as processing water. I don't think there's any issues, but being that that one had a couple of large rocks come down the hill, I, wanna, I just want to go back up and check. You know, I want to validate that this is not going to be an issue. So I probably won't film that because I don't think it is, but you know, it's just how it is. Um, next time you see me, I might be talking about continuing my path to the greenhouse with the weed trimmer. All right, talk to you in a bit. I'm hoping this shows up on rain. My little grass pathway. <laughs> and how tall the grass is on the left and right side. That's what uh, four days of rain will do for you. You know? And what's crazy is once you get to the other side of the fence, it is as tall or taller than the stuff that's on the left and right side of my grass pathway. <sighs> yes, and I'm using a string trimmer to make my pathway because both my lawnmower and my DR are not functioning. It's insane. <sighs> All right, let me get busy. All right, I'm looking into the sun, so I'm not sure if you can see it, but I got a pathway from the gate to the greenhouse. You know, right side's still tall. Left side's low down to the plastic. Yay! See what I'm doing. Um, having said that, tomorrow I need to come into the greenhouse and run my set of hoses. Um, you can tell where the, the ground, specifically right there, you can see where the top of it's a little dry. The bottom of it's still a little wet. Um, Four days of rain, the rain doesn't obviously hit inside here, but it, it seeps underground. Um, having said that, it's, excuse me, having said that, it's time. I, uh, I need to, uh, yeah, I just I need to get the hoses out here. That way I can go ahead and, and get it on a soaker scope. Hi, Priya Del Beers, a girlfriend. She's like, Mom, the, all, the, all the waters are empty. I know, so I need to get the hoses going. All right, so you can see a couple of my radishes have started to bolt. Um, I'll let them go to bloom. I'll save some radish seed. <sighs> uh, one of my, um, I don't know. What are they neat? I don't know. Broccoli. There you go. The far back one looks like it's going to seed. So I'm going to have to save some seeds off of that. Um, lettuces are still doing great. Chichismias, uh, mustard greens. Yeah, just gotta, you know, get it done. All right. Having said that, I'm going to go down. Yeah, I want to make a path through my elderberries, especially to the new baby two ones. They shouldn't have to compete with the the sun or the, the grass for sun. Does that make sense? And uh, let me see, I'll probably pull my pile of stuff here out. So should the grass get crazy tall, I'm not fighting it when I actually get the lawnmower up and running and can get it in here. So let me get busy. I'll talk to you all in a few. Alrighty, got a little path. You can see black plastic tall grass path. It's 
one of my baby elderberries doing awesome. You know, it's a big elderberry. It's one that got pruned and has come back and is just really bushy, really well. Um, yeah, so from there, so we'll do a little updates, kind of right there. Let me see if I can zoom in, there you go. Um, a friend of mine had gifted me some comfrey and uh, he's doing well, he came up, which is awesome. All right, zoom back out. Um, tripod, I was worried because I hadn't seen the passion fruit. And if you look right there, that's the passion fruit to the, the left of that log. So I stopped trimming, it makes sense because he's there. Let him get tall enough to get up the log before I go do any of the trimming. Um, and then if you look in between the log, let's see if I can zoom in a little more, you can see the other baby, oops. Well, come on, find the right log, there it is. The other baby elderberry, kind of behind the tall grass there. You can just see him sticking out. Um, why did I leave that tall grass there? Because I disturbed a copperhead. Um, yeah, that's why I'm over here. Oops, hey. Yeah, that's why I'm over here and he's over there. Um, yeah, we're going to give him a chance to move on. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and edge some more, maybe the day after that. It doesn't surprise me that corner is where the property starts to go wild. So it doesn't surprise me that he was hanging out over there. Um, you know, he didn't like the edger. He wanted to move on. I want him to move on. Um, yeah. You know, so we're just we're going to be done edging for today. Um, and part of, the, part of that is because the corner, the far corner, you can't see because the elderberry is under the black plastic. Part of that is blown up in the wind, and I'm quite sure he's under it. And I'm just, I'm not ready to go over there and start moving out leaves and seeing where he's at. You know, that's just give him the opportunity to walk on or crawl on or whatever. And uh, let me do what I need to do. Because I've got a couple other places where I want to make some paths. Um, so should this week, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, the guy come and it not be the brand that they can buy parts for. Because they've got like an agreement with somebody. Um, do now. And the mower doesn't get fixed. I can figure something out. Yeah, I know. Anyway, fingers crossed. Got pretty can stay over there. I got a path. Elderberries get light, and both of them. The other elderberry, it does get light. Do you know? You just can't see it well from the, uh, the, the tall grass that's there in the middle. And I don't want to go too far because Panda's over here with me, and she needs to stay over here with me. All right, having said that, I got a couple other trails I want to cut, you know, like in front of the in front of the workshop and in front of the shed just trim it down same reason that way i can see a snake before they see me um, it's one of the reasons why i like my grass short um, ticks fleas chiggers is another reason keep the grass short um yeah so let me go cut a couple other paths probably won't take you long for that one but i'll talk to you later bye miss pants up here